Hello everybody, my name is Stally111 and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas Project Nevada. Well, this isn't Project Nevada, this is Fallout New Vegas Let's Play with the Legion. Um, today is actually Thanksgiving. Sorry, I'm just adjusting my microphone. I should have done this beforehand. I'm very, very sorry. Alright, it should be fine. Uh, it's actually Thanksgiving for ye most of you, which, because uh, I've got a majority American audience. I thought I'd get radiation from that. Um, yeah, so it's uh, Thursday, which um, is the 27th, when I'm recording this at least. Hopefully try and get this up for the weekend. Um, let's go help out someone while I'm talking about this, because we're helping out the boomers uh, at Dallas Air Force Base. Not Dallas, Nellis. Where did... Oh yeah, it even says it right there. Where did I get Dallas from? <laughs> anyway, it's um, Thanksgiving, so I've got a little bit of a rant. Uh, as I always do, have something to talk about. Oh, attempt to talk about something. Surprises. Sorry, no time to talk, outsider. Surprises in Thanksgiving. We get Black Friday deals as well, but um, they're pretty crap. And to be honest, it really bugs me because the fact that we already get deals like Xbox One, PlayStation 4, right? just go for an example because I've already got PlayStation 4 and I'm thinking of getting an Xbox One, but I'm waiting for it to get cheap enough that I, like, I would get the same sort of deal or a, a decent deal compared to America. America right now is at 330 bucks or 329 bucks, which is the equivalent of... Um, Roughly 180 pounds, I think. I think it is that. This might be 200 pounds, but it's not loads. It's really cheap, I would say. But we're hey. up at 330 pounds, and that's. I, I can see it with uh, that. The 330 bucks is with game two games. Uh, 320 pounds without any games, and 330, 340 with a game or. 360 with two games being the same games that you get 320 bucks for. 330 pounds, no, 320 pounds, somewhere in between the two, is roughly 525 bucks, which is the, the comparison I was making. We get it nearly double the price. So you're the outsider. It just pisses me off. Life out there, huh? Wow. I always thought you savages probably spoke a different language. But I hear you sound like us. No, da, no, da, da, da. That was supposed to be like some random language, but I don't know if that's racist or anything. I was just gonna talk a little gibberish. Eh, sorry, guys. If that was racist, I didn't mean it to be. Anyway, yeah, we do speak English um, because we're in America who speak American English because it's not English because. You know, there's different words. They say mom instead of mum and spell things differently. I'm not meaning any offence, I'm just saying that I generally think they should call it something different than English. If it's not exactly the same as English. Ah, I'm being an asshole to America. Sorry. Um, a lot of good things do come out from America, but lots and lots of bad things do as well. Um, but I'm sure... If you're an American, you'll be fine. As long as you're not an asshole to people, you are good in my books. Um, I'm always looking for ways to help out. Anything come to mind? What I could use is some scrap metal. It may not sound exciting, but around here we have to recycle every rivet and plate. The other thing, you being from the outside and all, well, I guess you'd call it a personal matter, but, well, uh, forget it. You sure? Where I come from, we discuss personal marriage all the time, Sonny Jim. That must be nice, sharing yourself like that, not being embarrassed or anything. Well, the thing is, there's this girl. Trust me, kid, I get embarrassed. Tell me about her, Jack. Oh, you can't miss her. She has short red hair and she's the most beautiful woman who ever lived. You'd really talk to her for me? What if she feels the same way? What if she comes here like you did? What if she gets blown up? What if she doesn't like me? Oh, jeez. Uh, I better just let you handle it. I'm better with machines. 
They don't make my stomach queasy like this. Well, that changed. It sure did change. I'm going to turn it down. I know I turned um, the voice up, but I think it's a little bit too loud. Like, too loud for my voice because I have turned the gain down a little bit because I thought I was picking up a bit too much of my computer fan. I'm really sorry about that. It's really annoying me. I'll look into it. Strangers thing, stranger things have happened. I had my mouse over it. That would be amazing. As in, I would thank you forever. Forever? Whoa! That's like, forever. Let's do this. Young Hearts. Young Hearts in the Nellis Air Force Base. We got love is in the air. With Jack and some chick over there. From the Crimson Caravan Company, and I'm adjusting my microphone again, and I'm very, very sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Oh yeah, if you're new to the channel, I do sometimes to like to have a wee sing of two or three lines that I make up. Maybe. Maybe I just steal them, or maybe I just parody them. Who knows? That'd be the fun. I can be extraordinary and uh, extremely random. So yeah. It's only going to be a 20 minute video or something like that. I, I'm going out again tonight. Very busy life, you know. Being stally, motherfucking 111. Now, of course, I don't have an ego like that. I do with my friends as a joke. Because um, 2,000 of you guys, 2,300 actually, is a lot of people. I mean, it's like the population of some really... Well, some places, like, have that population. Uh, some very, very small cities. Uh, McLafferty's a hard boss, but she knows what she's doing. I don't know, sure. maybe? I think there's actually a country that's got like that. I'll, I'll look it up. I'll look it up. So, Jeanette and Jack sitting up a tree. Possibly. I'm glad those damn bots are gone for good. Uh, I don't You should go talk to Blake or Alice. They handle most of our contact with visitors. Bitch. Some dude over at the Nellis Air Force Base. He likes to look at you. You know. He likes you. I don't suppose you watch the boomers over in Nellis. Uh, Nellis sometimes, do you? I watch all sorts of things with my binoculars. Who wants to know? And why? I've been in San Ellis. There's a young man there who has a little crush on you. Nice looking blonde boy? I always wondered if he was watching me back. What's he like? He's an ass, I don't know. He's nice, a little naive, but seems convinced that you're his love of his life. Now, I said that incorrectly, but I don't care. Really? Oh, that's so sweet. Aww. I'd love to go meet him. Is there any way the boomers would let me visit Nellis? Hmm. I'll ask Pearl to make an exception for you. This is so exciting. Let me know how it turns out. Okay. I've heard the Legion's planning to unleash their best men against us. You're a caravaner. Or caravaneer. Caravaner? Yeah. You're not the NCR. You're not against them. Despite the fact that you probably will be, but you're not supposed to say that. That is an NCR soldier line. Silly sausage. Alright, let's talk to Old Lady Pearl. Elder Pearl. My aunt's called Pearl. Random fact from Stelly. Yo, why do you guys suddenly have these hey. epic power armor suits? Like, you never had them before. Keep I'm definitely inside. gonna be kicking ass and taking names when I'm here. Like, well, if I can. I wanna get your armor, somehow. Yo, Pearl. How is your visit with us going, stranger? It's fine. Jack, he's interested in some girl. Well, well, this is welcome news. Who is she? She works with the Crimson Caravan Company. She's with those traders? They've tried to contact us before, but I'm not interested in trading with greedy savages. This presents a bit of a problem. Jack isn't allowed to leave Nellis, and I doubt she would make it through the artillery alive. It would be mean... It would mean a lot to Jack if she could come to an Alice. Hmm. I suppose Jack deserves a chance at love. 
You can tell Jack she has a free pass to enter, but he is responsible for her actions. Do not make me regret this decision, outsider. I will see you later. Bye. You seem like you're dying when you say that. Bye. I'm dead. No, that, that was a bit of an over overreaction or overstatement, should I say. Anyway. So, guys, who... The, the people who consistently watch, there's just about 10 per folk, 10, 20 folk that consistently watch my videos. And I thank every one of you guys, every twenty, every one of you 20 guys. And the rest of my views come from searches. Because I try my very best to search, like to optimize my, like, optimize the search engine results for me to come up. It's got me quite a few views, but I'm not keeping them hey. and keeping the people in my channel. And you guys are staying, so thank you very much. Um, but do tell me what you want me to play and stuff like that. I would like some interaction. It's really cool when I do get a few comments here and there and everywhere and stuff. So uh, please keep it up and uh, more comments are always welcome. Thanks. Hello, Jack. Have you seen her? The redhead of my dreams? Jackie boy, good news. She feels the same way. She does? You mean it? That's incredible. What happens next? Can she come here? How do we make sure she doesn't get blown up? Should I talk to the gunners or to Pearl? Already done it, bro. Jeanette needs to get, uh, needs a way past the, the artillery. Here, take this boomer outfit. I'll let the gunners know she's coming and not to shoot at her. Oh, oh, is this it? Is this it, ladies and gentlemen? What? Oh, I have to, oh girl, I have to give her it. The, yeah, he said he he would alert, her, alert them. Right, so, love is in the air over Nellis. Love is in the air over Nellis. So, oh, hello, you're wearing something different. Oh, you're wearing the normal armor now. You're not the soldiers, you're the flying guys. You're the pilots of, uh... I could just, oh no I'm not, I'm, I need to get that 800 caps or something of that guy. <clears throat> I'm in the money. I'm in the money. Money, 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 money. Money, money, whitey money. It's a little bit of an inside joke, but yeah. Can we, sh aww, I wish you could turn that, the lights out and do a little ambush. I don't know why, it just sounds fun. Yo, girl. I'm glad those damn bots are gone for good. Your boy Hello again. is wanting your you to friend? come. Actually, I wanted you to talk about him. I was hoping you would. What's going on? I got a boomer uniform for you to wear while you cross to Nellis. There's one more thing. I have a work contract with the Crimson Caravan, and if I walk... Could you do just one more thing for me and talk to Alice McLafferty about it? I know if I do it, she'll just say no. I'd hate to lose the money. I'll just take your money. Okay, just don't, you know, put it on and go. You don't trust me. I've heard the Legion's planning to unleash their best men against us. Nobody cares. And she's off to sleep. Why is she in the guard barracks? Are you suddenly... The, the boss is now a guard. We well, do have a gun. Welcome back. Um, Jeanette's asked me to talk about, uh, to talk to you about releasing her from her contract. Ah, yes. Her infatuation with a boomer she's never met. It's a small camp. Morb gets around. She's aware she's breaking her contract, which is undoubtedly why she sent you to talk to me instead of coming herself. Janet is free to leave, but she forfeits the wages she's owed. That's the price of contract breaking. Take it or leave it. <sighs> Jeanette Jeanette's wages can't be that much. Why bother keeping them from her? That's the fit. Crimson Caravan's company's operations require dependable employees. 
I'm not going to reward someone for breaking their work contract. Oh, come on. She's in love. Give her a break. You'll have to try harder than that. The rumors about my heart being made of stone are true. You've got yourself a deal. I'm glad to hear it. But you're not going to get my work. Uh, if it wasn't red, you would be out with some Stimpax, my lady. Looks like we're going to have to bring the bad news to her, but, uh, yeah, won't be that many caps. Hello. Hello. Woman. Oh, you're, you're still alone. Oh, yeah, I just missed you. Wakey, wakey. Have you spoken with McLafferty yet? Yes, I have. You're free to leave, but McLafferty won't pay. That's the deal. I see. Well, thank you for trying. I'm off to go see my admirer now. Yo. You got crappy armor. Ha. Huh. Alright, let's go back to Mr. Loverboy. Jackie boy. Jackie, Jackie, Jack and Janet. Yeah, I was going to say Jill. Jack and Janet doesn't really have a ring to it, does it? Oh, we've got an optional, I think. Meet. Oh, yeah. Right, she's going to be ahead of us, but we're going to get that 800 mother trucking caps. Mother trucking caps. She's still not gone yet. She's probably gone back to sleep, the lazy cow. Alright, this guy better still be waiting out here. The low life he is. Waiting for his money to go. He's probably like, I'm in the money. You ready? You ready? I'll take you on. For Sparta! That was easy. Just a button. Oh, well, that was easy. But yeah, he's probably like, I got that money. I got that money. He be an idiot. I got the money, the 400 caps. Now I can afford, but I'm still gonna walk here just in case he does actually survive and I lose the four, I lose 400 that, that he gave me and another 400. What the hell was that? I heard a bark and an explosion. Like an, uh, a mini nuke or something. Yo, don't walk away from me. Why are you running? He spent some of my money. That bastard. And he made me I thought I thought they wouldn't fly at me because, you know, fire at him because I'm there, because, you know, I am I am the guy. I don't know. You know, I'm awesome. Oh great, let's Looks like I'm over encumbered. Great. But yeah, I'm gonna um Ah, oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> well, let's look at the miscellaneous. Stuff that could weigh me down. Caravan deck. You. Oh. Um. Let's eat the squirrel on the stick. And. Let's get drunk! No, let's not. Let's do that in another episode. Purified water. Uh, bugger. And we'll take. Gecko steak. Lovely job, light.
we're we're under our weight now. I should be able to sprint. Okay. <laughs> well, apparently I can't squint. Squint. Sprint, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully that's just a temp problem. No, it's still not working. Hello. It's great to finally meet you. Hi there. It's great to meet you as well. I'm glad you made it out here. You're even more stunning up close than you were at a distance. Alright, let's um... And you're even more handsome up close. Do you think it'll be okay if I hang around here for a little while? So we can get to know each other better? Of course it would. I'll have you set up with some quarters with some of the other women. Hello. Yo. Thank you for getting Janet to Nellis. I've never been so happy in my entire life. Goodbye. See ya. Right, so that's Young Heart's quest completed, and we can get Barter up, which cannot help us anymore because um, she we've done that quest. I've heard the Legion anyway. is planning to unleash their best men against us. He just changed. She just changed her voice. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I will hopefully get the sprinting fixed. Um, I'll see if I can. Oh, it's, it's fixed now. Uh, just it was the leg. That's what it was. Thank you very much for watching. Please roll like, drop a comment, and subscribe if you're not done so already. My name is Stanley One Eleven. You have been my audience and a great one at that. See you guys on my next video and tell me in the comments what I should do for other let's plays and other games that you want me to cover. Also in my who is series, who is dot dot dot. Uh, tell me who I should do next. I'm thinking of maybe doing something like Master Chief or um, I don't know. Uh, just tell me in the comments and also tell me your thoughts on the UK getting utterly scripted or screwed over with the uh, pricing of tech because it ha it's pretty much everything as well but yeah we do get screwed over badly so I'm just gonna go outside and we're gonna start the video next episode like this see ya